Spring has officially sprung, and along with spring comes warmer temperatures. These rising temps say bye-bye to what little snow is left. With winter officially gone, St. Cloud State students have one thing in mind after spending the endless winter months indoors, and that is to get outside and enjoy the weather and enjoy nature. To give us a better idea of how we can get active this season, we caught up with outdoor enthusiast Greg Baxter. Hi, my name is Greg Baxter. I've been a student at SSU for about four years now. Uh, I started biking probably five years ago, I'd say. Um, just kind of stay active, just kind of keep busy. Um, I started exploring uh, St. Clouds. I was trying to find uh, areas to go biking, kind of just get outside in the, uh, in the outdoors, kind of stay fit. And uh, yeah, I've been able to find a few spots, Beaver Islands Trails being one of them. Yeah, the reason why I like the Beaver Island Trails is basically because it's, uh, it's so close to the river. The yeah, water is probably no more than 10 feet away from me the entire time, so it's just kind of, it's really peaceful and there's a lot of wildlife. There's lots of birds and it's just a really, really peaceful area to be around. And Yeah, at Beaver Island Trails, you can uh, not only go on paved paths, they also have, uh, you can kind of get off the path and go on some single track biking, which is actually, I like doing that a little more, it's a little more technical and you can kind of go a little more fast paced and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of dips and dives and kind of curves, kind of going through trees, it's kind of a little more fun, and kind of exciting, I think, so, yeah, that's why Beaver Island Trails has both to offer if you want to take a nice little leisurely uh, stroll, you can go on the paved path, or if you want to go for an exciting ride, you can go on the, uh, the off-road tracks. Here at the course, there's more than just biking to do. You can also do rock climbing and uh, also biking as well. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger of a space than the Beaver Island Trails was. It's, uh, it's a lot more spread out and a lot more trails to go on. And uh, also, uh, rock climbing is probably about 13 or 14 different quarries you can kind of climb on. Uh, if you do want to climb in the rock quarries, uh, you do need a permit. It's free through the park, so no reason why you shouldn't do that. But um, also, on top of the permit, you also need to uh, make sure to take precautions bring the proper equipment, uh, such as shoes and uh, harnesses, ropes, crash pads in case you fall, just to make sure you don't get hurt. Um, yeah, as far as biking goes, the quarry uh, park is definitely by far the best. It's just the, uh, just for the amount of space it offers and like, the technical uh, runs they have. There's, I think there's two or three more in the making. They're kind of developing a few more. I think they already have two or three right now, so they'll probably have like six or so by the end of the summer. So a lot of spots to go and bike. and. It's pretty, pretty crazy fun, so definitely recommend it. My, my, my uh, favorite spot in town for sure. These are of course only a few options of the way the people of St. Cloud have to choose from. There are a plethora of other opportunities for everyone to get active this season. What's important is that we all get up, get out, and enjoy the wonderful weather. Reporting from the great outdoors, this is You Local.